Seven Stages of a Long-Distance Relationship Long-distance relationships are anything but simple, despite the fact that social media, messaging apps, and video chats make it simple for couples to stay in touch, while away for extended periods of time. Long-distance relationships break up more frequently than close-distance ones. Others go from close-distance to long-distance relationships. However, some long-distance relationships even begin that way when couples first meet online. Stage 1. Decision Making the decision to try to make a long-distance relationship work is the first chapter in the book of long-distance relationships. The couple must decide whether to end their relationship or start a long-distance relationship when one partner resides far away. The couple has to choose between breaking up or entering into a long-distance relationship. Stage 2. Parting The second chapter, named Parting, starts once both parties have decided to pursue a long-distance relationship. To make up for the weeks, months, or years they will be apart, they will try to spend every moment together before they are split up. Additionally, at this time, the couple should establish ground rules and boundaries in order to maintain a strong bond even after moving apart. Stage 3. Transition After one or both partners have parted ways and the long-distance portion of their relationship has begun, the transition stage occurs. The parties may not be aware of how the relationship has altered at this point because they are in a state of denial or are just preoccupied with the logistics of moving and adjusting to life without their partner. They'll probably message or call their partner frequently and keep them updated on every little thing. They might still feel like they're still in a close distance relationship. And then comes stage four, realization. Just before you made the call to ask them to meet you for coffee, has it finally dawned on you that you can't just drop by and see them whenever you want? Do you feel helpless since you are currently in need of a hug from them? If so, you've moved on to the realization chapter. The fifth stage is jealousy. Have they recently posted a picture of themselves having fun at the beach with brand new pals? Do they intend to attend a gathering with their new co-workers? Really though? While they have already established new acquaintances, you are unable to even eat properly since you miss them so much. In long distance relationships, Jealousy is a common stage. Stage six, doubt. Now comes the climax. Another typical phase of long distance relationships is relational uncertainty. Long distance partners said that their relationship uncertainties grew as time passed without seeing each other in person. Additionally, the chances of a relationship surviving if one or both partners have doubts about their relationship before the transition is weak. The final seventh stage, Validation. The book's final chapter is titled, Validation. Partners in an effective long-distance relationship will frequently find themselves going back on stage. Studies have shown that long-distance partners are equally as content with their relationships as close-distance partners when their partner actively listens to them and responds positively, even though the failed ones may terminate in stage six, Doubt.